thank you all for joining us today at this important informational hearing. There will be no votes taken today. We're, we're gathered to create a record and to start educating ourselves about this a very important issue uh, surrounding the proposed registration of methyl iodide. In recent weeks and months, there have been some concerns expressed about the potential registration by the State of California of the soil fumigant uh, methyl iodide. Most of us are familiar with methyl bromide that is used extensively and is currently um, known to be an ozone depleter. It's also for that reason that under the Montreal Protocols, methyl bromide has been targeted for phase out over a period of years and there have been uh, extensions of emergency exemptions afforded for the continued use of methyl bromide. It's in that context that there's been pressure for the agricultural community uh, to develop alternatives to methyl bromide. One alternative that has been put forward recently is the chemical methyl iodide. That is the topic of today's hearing. While methyl iodide is not an ozone depleter, many scientists, worker advocates, environmentalists, local communities, and others have expressed concern about the high toxicity of methyl iodide and have reported that it may in fact be more toxic to humans in the local environment than methyl bromide itself. In recent weeks, there has been concern expressed that the administration or the California Department of Pesticide Regulation was somehow fast-tracking the approval of methyl iodide so that it could be used as early as this fall. There was some discussion that budget cuts would prevent it from being, would prevent hearings from being conducted and put out for external scientific review as was the original plan. Uh, Senator Leno and myself, along with approximately 33 other colleagues in the legislature, were concerned enough that we sent a letter to Governor Schwarzenegger and to the Department of Pesticide Regulation outlining our concerns. Two days later, after receipt of the letter, DPR indicated that with passage of the budget revisions, it was in fact going to conduct an external peer review with an opportunity for public comment here in Sacramento. We see this as a positive development, and I applaud the Department of Pesticide Regulation for this decision and for doing the right thing. However, I felt it was important enough of an issue for this committee to explore the potential impact of this substance specifically on worker health and safety. This is not an effort to undercut or supplant DPR's external peer review process, which will be getting underway in late September. If anything, I hope the discussion today will add to that process and dialogue and possibly help amplify and supplement the record that will be available to the Department of Pesticide Regulation. However, too often, in my experience with pesticide issues, worker health and safety takes a back burner. Unfortunately, farm workers have often been put in harm's way and have ended up being the guinea pigs before a chemical is deemed after the fact to have posed serious enough health consequences, including the causation of birth defects, cancer, and other serious maladies that the chemical is only after those adverse impacts recalled by the federal or state level. Believe me, I'm no fan of methyl bromide. I do understand the utility to certain uh, members of the agricultural community. However, I think the worst thing possible would be for us in our rush to find an alternative to methyl bromide to adopt an alternative that is equally, if not more destructive, to worker health and safety interests. As those issues are a primary part of this committee's jurisdiction, I thought it was important to convene this hearing as this larger debate and discussion is commencing both in California and around the country.